Everybody, it's Bill from MattTracker.com, and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Well, I'm on the floor, which means I'm doing something interactive with uh, one of the mask items, I would imagine, anyway. And it just so happens we have Boulder Hill in front of us. Now, I did talk about Boulder Hill way in the past. It was one of my first videos. But since then, um, I don't remember the exact date, but I haven't cleaned this thing since then. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you a couple tricks that you can do to clean this without ruining it and also um you know show you where you can buy new stickers if you want to refresh it there's a website that i'll put in the link uh i'll put a link in the description for and just kind of go over like what i feel is missing from this and what i feel really stands out um now this is one of the more iconic play sets of the 80s and i plan on doing a future episode on those other play sets as well and remember, I can't review something unless I tangibly have it. But if you have a suggestion on what you want me to review, you know, put it in the comments. I will take it into consideration. But pretty much I'm going to be pitting Boulder Hill versus those other ones. And we're going to see where they stand up. Now, my Boulder Hill is not in the greatest condition. Um, parts of this were mine from when I was a kid. Um, and some of it I had to kind of recollect. Um, because as you know, when I was a kid... If you follow this channel, um, things broke more often when I was a kid than they do on the show, believe it or not, um, just because I love playing with these. So one, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the condition of it itself. Now, a lot of Boulder Hills that I see kind of get this weird bending going on here. And you'll see it. Um, you'll see it here. The, the panels don't it, it just happens with time really and it depends how you store them because the plastic is it's a little bit it's a little bit different it's not as there's not as much quality in this design with the materials as there is with you know hurricane and you know thunderhawk and condor etc and rhino that doesn't fit and we'll go over that again too um but you can kind of see like the door the door hinges break easily on this. It's just not as, it doesn't feel like it's the same, you know, the same quality. Uh, a lot of them still do hold up, but a lot of them are in this condition as well. And I always felt that it was a poor use of material. Excellent design, but poor use of material. I don't know if anybody agrees with me on that. Um, and it's also almost impossible to display it too. So if you... Unless you're retro blasting, you know, Michael has those really, really awesome cases where Boulder Hill somehow fits in that thing. I don't have anything that fits. Like I have, you know, I have these ones from Ikea and I can't fit Boulder Hill in there unless I just want to put a piece of it in. It's got to go on top. But right now I have it sitting over here in this open spot um, where that is. So, um, so that's where I have it sitting. So let's talk about the accessories first before we dig into some of the other parts of this these will always be lost you'll never have them but you can get them on etsy and on ebay and i'll put the links in the description for i think eight bucks just little pieces of you know tubing that goes right there and it really completes it um it's it's something that it's, it's very, it's very funny. You think about it like 35 years later, you're like, man, I wish I had those little pieces of tube. You wouldn't think that back then. So you got those there. You have the gun here that comes down when you turn it. Um, this, this holds up pretty well. You have the trap door where mine is bent and it doesn't hold in very well. Um, you got that there. You have 
the jail cell that sits underneath there, you have the boulder on the hill, you have the gun turret, and that's pretty much it for the accessories. Everything else is part of the base and part of the unit itself. So I mentioned base. You have the base here. And again, it's not, it, it just feels a little bit, a little bit cheaper. And I hate saying that about something with mask, but it, that, that's just how it feels. I'm going to lift up the base so you can see underneath. Hopefully nothing breaks. So you have the mechanism here underneath that turns the uh, gas pumps into cannons. And everything else kind of has little clips. Um, surprisingly, it's not very dusty under here. So that's good. And here's one of the major parts where mine doesn't stay in is the rotation part with the, the, the blast doors. So if you're lucky enough to have one that does that, um, I'm happy you have that. So my... My door falls off uh, because the class is broken there. And this is this is actually the original door that I had. So I, that's why I haven't replaced it. But I'm planning on... One of the things I'm planning on doing next is kind of refurbishing this to, to the best of my ability. And that's why I'm starting with this video. Because I want to show you just you know the condition it's in. And then eventually I'll do another video on it on where it's at at the end. Um, and... I have cleaned this in the past, believe it or not. It's just been a very long time. Um, the one thing to take note of is you don't want to really use water around the stickers because eventually they'll pull up. Um, so I, when I tend to clean these things, I get a you know damp paper towel, nothing special, and just kind of kind of press and go as hard as I can on it without you know going crazy. And I try to take the the first layer of dirt and everything off of it at once. I try to do that first. And then I'll do layers of it that way. But I'll take it apart first. I'm just showing you, like, you know, here what I would do. So you can kind of see the difference there just from that one strip of cleaning. Um, and to get into the little crevices, you know, you got to... You got to get a Q-tip, go with a dry end and a wet end so you can switch around from one to the other and kind of see just there like what I was able to pull up. I know <clears throat> this is kind of mostly common sense, but not a lot of people take the time to do this, so they might not know. And that's what I just pulled out of that crevice there. Um, and if you watch... Um, if you watch other videos on these things, like some, you know, you'll be able to see people take everything apart and mitigate all this, you know, dust and dirt. Uh, but, you know, maybe you just want to watch me do it. This end here is a little bit wet. So it'll, you can see it. So it's disgusting, but it needs to be done. And that's... That's what I pulled off of there. And so, we got cat hair. Uh, let's flip it around here real quick. This thing always falls off too. It's supposed to come out underneath here as a, another, another gun. Um, let's see what other crap we can find in here. Oh, God. Go away. And in here, there's a ton of detail that it's often overlooked um, and it also collects a lot of dust as you can see so the details in this show a kind of a you know auto mechanic shop really there's no elements in here of this being the mask headquarters it's missing like for me there should have been like a little table or something in here that you can get now through 3d printing um that would have that would have completed it i think in my in my eyes and maybe some maybe some different decal work inside here that kind of made it feel like more of a, a headquarters but it's not the end of the world um i'm going to show you a couple things here 
So when you take the boulder off of here, the one thing I want to point out is that to my knowledge, there's no metal in this. So if you uh, if you wanted to take, and there's no stickers on it either. So if you wanted to take this and just kind of give it a little bit of a soak in some, some warm soapy water, and then give it a good rinse, you'll be able to get all this stuff off without going through all these crevices. It'll take forever. I mean, unless you unless you want me to do this. Uh, is that is that exciting? I don't I don't I don't want to do this. <laughs> but that you get, let's look at this. Like it's 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 gross. To, yeah, look. I've been breathing this stuff in for how many, how many years? So you can pop that right off and give it a good bath. Um, same thing with you know these elements here. If your if your stickers are in bad shape and you want to replace them, I kind of recommend doing an entire bath just in you know a little bit of warm water because there's no metal in this. Um, there's no chrome. There's nothing to really worry about. You know rusting or anything along those lines but since mine still has some of the original stickers on it i don't want to do that so what i would have to do is take off this part of the base here and you can see that it stays in place with that divot and that's how it slides open what i would have to do here is you know take the cloth and whatever i have and just kind of give it a good scrub down um and you're going to have to do this a couple times because you're not going to get everything on the first pass. It's going to take some time to to really get it. Uh, it's gross. Um, especially in here. So you might be able to maneuver this into the bathtub. And hold it there and maybe spray it or something like that. But again, if, you're, if you want to hold these stickers intact, I recommend not doing that. If you don't care, take this part of the base off. You know this whole thing here uh put everything in the in the in the bathtub let it soak and then when your wife asks what the heck you're doing you say um uh preserving history <laughs> um uh something along those lines yeah it's it's not it's not super but it's doable and disgusting. One other thing you can do too, if the dust doesn't look like it's that caked on, like this is, you can use an air blower maybe to get some of that out if you might have it for a computer. Oh, Jesus, look at this. Um, but think about think about how this displays. It's just how it happens. It, there's no way around it. There's nowhere to there's nowhere to put it. And it's just hard to clean. But again, it's important to have in your collection. Um, you should definitely have one. And get this back on here real quick. Get this back in the hole here. See, because mine's a little warped, it doesn't really stay in place that well. Um, on the bottom. But, I mean, just look how much I took off from eight seconds of cleaning. All right, so does Rhino fit? Well, we all know that answer. And I also covered how big it would need to be in order to make it fit. And I'll have that in the description as well. But I just wanna know what the thought process here was. I, I really do, because I can do that and cheat, but that's cheating. I don't wanna do that. It, Really took a lot out of it, the imagination when we were kids. Now it just makes us bitter. <laughs> but again, let me know your thoughts on Boulder Hill. I, I, you know, it's definitely something you need to have in your collection. And it's something that if you can display it or you have a better way to display it, let me know how you're doing it. Um, and again, pay attention to these little, these little details here. The little details are what make mask really stand out from other elements. Even though there's nothing in here that really says this is my headquarters, 
nobody ever talks about these details. And those little details really make a difference when you are talking about something as iconic as Boulder Hill. Now, remember, it's got a cheaper plastic um, than some of the elements. And if you want to clean it, you can do a bath of this here, the Boulder Hill part. The other parts, um, you're going to want to scrub and probably do two passes on. Don't use a ton of water. Don't use anything really astringent. Um, I don't think using like a wipe, like a Clorox wipe, is going to hurt it. But you don't need to go that far. Um, you can see what water just did right there compared to no water right there. So you don't have to go crazy. Uh, the gas pumps on Etsy, there will be a link in the description for them. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on Boulder Hill. And let me know what you would like me to talk about next. And look for my restoration video of Boulder Hill that will be coming um, in the next few months. I'm going to have to find some parts to restore it with, but I will be doing that. Until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe to help keep Mask alive. And this is Bill from MattTracker.com, and I'll talk to you later. Spectrum Scott's